Hey what's going on guys, McSkillet here with another CSGO video and today I'm going to be making a video on the top 10 most valuable items that exist for CSGO. Now I've done some videos kind of like this in the past but they've uh, I haven't taken everything into consideration and a lot of the prices were way off and uh, too high and stuff, but this video should be pretty much as accurate as it gets. I'm going to be including every single item that um, exists for CSGO, blue gems and um, all the rare stat track knives for this video. And um, also the prices are just estimations, there is no set price for any of these items because of how insanely rare they are and how expensive and stuff. But um, yeah, the prices I give are just going to be rough estimations, they can sell for just around that range and um, some of them, I mean there's only one in the world for some of these items so no one even knows how, um, what price they would sell it. But I tried to estimate which ones are the most valuable and I made trying to make the best top 10 I could for you guys. So um, yeah, let's get right into the first skin for this video. Now starting off, we actually have the StatTrack M9 Crimson Web Factory Now, Now if you're going to comment um, saying that this knife is worth $22,000, I'm just going to stop you right there, you are wrong. It, it might have been worth that at some time, but right now a lot of these were duplicated. I have a whole video about the whole duplication um, scam thing where a lot of people managed to get these. So there's like more than 10 of those that exist now, so this is not worth nearly $22,000. In fact, I've seen some sell for less than $4,000, but I thought uh, $4,000 would be a pretty rough estimate, esti estimation, and the non-dupe ones are actually worth more than the dupe ones, I believe. But um, that's number 10. Now at number 9, I'm actually going to go with the Stat Track Butterfly Knife Crimson Web Factory New. This is an insanely rare collector's item. There's only two of these that exist, so it's a lot more rare than the M9s now. It's actually more rare than the Karambits, but the Butterfly Knife is a little bit less demanding than the Karambits, so it's not worth as much. But next up, we've actually got the Stat Track M9 Black Pearl um, Doppler. Now these are insanely rare. There's only four that are known to exist. And um, the M9 Bandit's of course one of the highest tier knives. This is an insanely high tier collector's item. And um, Black Pearl is a pretty cool knife. I'm gonna estimate it around $5,000. And the next knife is actually the Stat Track Shadow Daggers Crimson Web Factory New. I don't believe this is gonna be worth $6,000 in a bit. Right now it's only worth this because the Shadow Daggers are really new. And um, you know, maybe after a year there will probably be a lot of these, that are not a lot, but a lot more. But someone was actually offering to pay $6,000 for that. So that's where I got that price from. And um, next up, we've got the Stat Track Karambit Doppler Black Pearl. I actually valued this at the highest and uh, most expensive item from my other top 10, but there's been three more that have dropped somehow. Um, so I don't think it's worth as much. I think it's only worth $6,500, which is still an awful lot. But um, next up, we've actually got Hiko's Stat Track Minimal Wear Blue Gem. Um, this is the only like high tier Stat Track Blue Gem, really. None of the other stat track ones or anything as good as this one because this one is actually dual sided so that's just absolutely insane and it's minimal wear so just an insane blue gem. But coming in at number 4 we've got the Souvenir Op Dragon Lore Factory new. This is the most expensive um, weapon skin if you don't include knives. And um, this one right here, the one owned by Care with the JW sticker, is probably worth the most because I believe the ones with these new um, souvenirs, uh, signature stickers, are probably worth more than the other ones because a lot more people like these rather than the old basic stickers. But um, next up, we've got the Stat Track Karambit Crimson Web Factory New, and um, the estimated value for this is around $10,000. I don't know if any are for sale at the moment though, so it could be worth even more. And this is just one of the most high tier knives, an insanely rare and um, desired knife. And at number two, this there's only one of these that actually exists, so that's why the price for this is so high. And uh, the Bayonet's a pretty um, high tier knife that a lot of people like to collect. But um, there's only one of these that's ever dropped, and it's the Stat Track Bandit Crimson Web Factory New. So I thought I'd estimate it around the same price as the Cram, but I don't really know how you would value that um, completely accurately because there's only one that exists, of course. But that is definitely one of the most valuable items for CSGO. Now, before we get into the number one slot, here's some honorable mentions. First off, the Crambit Ultraviolet Stat Track Factory New. I think it's just worth a little bit less than the other things in the video. And also the Souvenir Tech 9 Nuclear Threat. Um, I'm not really sure how you value this. There's only like one or two that exist, I believe, but um, I, the only one that I know of that exists, that he actually scraped the stickers off it, so that was a little bit weird, and I'm not sure why anyone would do that. But now for the number one slot. Coming in at number one, we have the Karambit k and Factory New with the number one pattern on it that's 100% blue. 
And um, this is actually owned by Skyliner. Of course, I did an inventory showcase on him. He pretty much has the most expensive inventory, or he did at a time. He's actually selling a lot of it now, so I don't know if he still does. But as you can see, this has the number one playside pattern for it. It's 100% blue on the playside. And um, this is there's only one factory new version of this. There isn't any others that are factory new. I believe the other ones are field tested and worse quality. And um, there really isn't hardly any factory new blue gems that exist. And of course, none at this high tier um, quality. So my friend Newbridge said, it, I believe he said it was around like 6,000 keys if you were to sell it. He could probably sell it for even more since it's the only one in the world. But um, that's pretty much it for the video, guys. Hope you guys like this video. And I'm Mick Skillet, and I'm out.